Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go over how to install a GFCI outlet. So we have a 20 amp GFCI outlet. Just a little bit more detailed uh, video of the outlet I'm using. So you can see there it's got uh, your screw which is for the white line and your screw over here which is for your hot um, your black uh, wire that white one would be um, the neutral and then your ground screw just on the bottom there you can see on the back here it has uh, a gauge a wire stripping gauge and it also shows you which wires go where at the top here is the line so that's the wires that carry the power into the outlet where's where the yellow tape is that's your load so if you're going um, downstream uh, to the next outlet uh, that's where those wires would go from that to the next outlet there and then the outlet attached to it um, would be uh, protected by this GFCI. I'm just going to go over the tools you need for doing an outlet like this. So you've got your standard utility knife for stripping back the, uh, the casing. Um, I've got a good set of linesman pliers. So basically for twisting um, grounds together, uh, cutting wires, um, those are essential. You've got your wire strippers. So these here, they're all marked on the ends there, whether it's stranded wire or solid wire, and then your gauges. Um, super essential. And then other than that, uh, I've got two screwdrivers, so a Phillips and a flathead uh, for putting on the, screwing in the receptacle and then the faceplate. So, first step I'm gonna do is go and strip the casing off the wires. So I'm just using an X-Acto knife and uh, I just kind of scored the center and then you can just pull it back like so to expose all your wires. And I'm just going to cut that back just in the box. out of the way. So at this point I'm going to use my linesman pliers and I'm going to cut all these wires a little bit shorter. These are, um, you could probably get away with about six inches. Um, I don't want too much wire. Again, it's, it's um, not a lot of space in that box. So at this point, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my uh, strippers and just strip these these wires. So um, I'm using the 12 gauge slot uh, solid and just taking off those ends. And then what I'll do is I'll use that gauge on the back of the outlet just to check to see if I strip too much or too little. So just kind of line it up. I'm just lining it up and checking. So that might I that might be a bit too much. And that one's not quite enough, so it doesn't have to be exact, but uh I want it uh, so there's not a lot of exposed wire um, sticking out after the connections are made. Ideally I think you want to have your uh, insulation kind of butting right up against the, uh, the outlet. So again we've got our two screws here and our ground. Um, I'm going to go ahead and connect the ground first. Um, there's no power hooked up right now, but uh, yeah, so everything's shut off. So 
So I'm just going to stick it under that screw. Tighten down. Um, I tighten it so it's pretty snug. I don't want, you don't want to over tighten, but uh, I don't want that coming loose. So the other thing I might do here, we got only have one line coming in, but I'm just going to kind of pre-bend these two wires just so that when I go to stick the outlet in, it uh, it goes in a little bit easier. So just kind of fold them in. Oh. Same with the ground wire. So, I'm going to go ahead and just attach the, the neutral, the white wire, tighten that down. So you can see here, that wire, there's not, there's not a lot of exposed wire there, it's kind of butted right up against. Um, that's what you want. You don't want to cut off too much of the, the casing and then have it exposed. So now I'll go ahead and do this side. So you can see I got, kind of see, I got both the pot and the neutral and the ground attached. Um, so that's basically it. So now I just have to fold it into the box and uh, screw it into place. As I'm doing this, I'm also just kind of making sure the outlet's centered. There's a bit of play in either screw, um, just so it doesn't look completely uh, 
completely off center or anything, so. Okay, so you can see there. It's all wired in. These boxes are fairly good size, uh, 18 cubic inches. Um, I'm not sure if you can get anything bigger, but uh, they seem to do the trick. Last step, and I'm gonna have to pull these off anyways when I go to do uh, finish the walls, but uh, just so I don't lose track of them. I'm just putting the face plates on for now. And there you go.